I like it when days like today deliver a little bit more, a, a little bit of a thicker stack of good news stories than bad news stories. For example, yesterday the U.S. reported more than 47,000 coronavirus cases, new ones. That's the smallest daily increase in almost four weeks. The president yesterday talking about some cautious optimism. Uh, of course, we're dealing with the hurricane, we're dealing with storms, we're dealing with Congress trying to negotiate this uh, coronavirus um, stimulus, the PPP, the uh, the extended unemployment benefits. So we got a little bit of uh, some perhaps good news, probably too soon to uh, you know to get too excited, but um, we got to continue to pray that we get this thing in the right direction. Yesterday, I think I shared the good news about a new drug that's being tested. It's a therapy that has been got granted fast track designation here in the United States out of Israel. Critically ill COVID-19 patients recovered rapidly from respiratory failure after treated by something called RLF 100. So now two drug companies racing to get that. Uh, so some, some good, that's the good news stack. Let me give you a little bit more good news politically. Do you know where the daily presidential Rasmussen tracking poll had Barack Obama at the exact same stage of his first term? It was 44%. You know what the Rasmussen reports presidential daily approval rating has Trump at today? 51%. His supporters are 70% more enthusiastic than Joe Biden's. More good news. Here's a little bit of good, more good news. Moments ago, the president signing the Great American Outdoors Act. It's bipartisan legislation. They are still getting something, some stuff done in Washington, D.C. This was a bipartisan effort. It's the most significant conservation bill in a generation. Essentially, the president passed a bill that will, will protect our park system funding for the next 100 years, preserving our national and public lands. And uh, maybe this COVID-19 insanity, the crazy year we've had with racial unrest, uh, police reform, the horrific death, the terrible death of George Floyd, maybe it has made us uh, appreciate more than ever the, the, our national parks and, and, and the, the, what they offer. So that's the good news file. How about the bad news file? Remember they told us if the federal law enforcement officials and, and, and uh, officers would leave Portland, everything would be nice and calm outside the federal courthouse? Think again. Uh, I'm reading here from the New York Post. A Portland protester was stabbed during a fight with a woman who took footage inside a city park that has been housing demonstrators for months. There was a stabbing. The police tried to investigate. Listen to this. Faced with a hostile crowd, police said they were unable to conduct their investigation and they left the area. That's good. It's going really well in Portland. That removing federal the federal presence is going great. 